So, why does this place look like the wreck of the Hesperus? Well, um, we've come in and it's been very wet, so we've still got um, our clothes drying. That's one change of clothes. <laughs> Where's the other one? Oh, they're, they're behind me somewhere or other. But yeah, we had to. We, we were in wet gear. We were in this clothes as well. So when it's raining and you're sailing, it just gets very damp and everywhere is just damp. Um, so that's, but that's part of both light, really. But you still have to cook dinner. <laughs> so what's for dinner? Well, um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to do uh, my perfect omelette. And I'll tell you now, my perfect omelette changes from day to day. It just depends on what's in the fridge. One of the reasons that um, my perfect omelette changes um, is that it all depends on what I've got in the fridge. At the moment, I've got some rather manky looking mushrooms. So that's what's going to go in. So I'm going to have mushrooms. I've got a bit of onion, so I might put that in. Um, but... It, Omelettes are brilliant for getting rid of leftovers and, um, you know, so eat what you want. Okay, so trick question for you. Mm -hmm. How many mushrooms do you use for an omelette? <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, so if you really want a lot of mushrooms, but really you don't need an awful lot. I usually find one mushroom per egg is fine. Right, so I'm just going to uh, start off um, my onions and uh, mushrooms and I'm like Bev. And we don't really measure oil, it's just sort of like, yeah, that'll do. I'm just going to start my onions off and then in a couple of minutes time I'll just um, add the mushrooms just to uh, start them cooking. Do you cook the onions until they're soft or...? I like them uh, until they're transparent. Right. You don't need an awful lot of uh, vegetables to uh, go in your omelette. Um, but while they're cooking, I'm going to uh, get on with the eggs. Now, unfortunately, I've left, uh, dropped a little bit of eggshell in my eggs. And uh, the top tip on uh, getting eggshell out is to actually use the eggshell because you can just scoop it out and uh, remove the eggshell. So what you're saying is the eggy stuff in the bowl doesn't stick to the eggshell it came out of? Correct. I'm going to throw the mushrooms in to get them going. With my two eggs, I'm just adding a spot of milk, not much. Is that a metric spot or an imperial spot? <laughs> That's a spot, basically. The big key to making a great omelette is air. So yes, you can whisk with a fork, uh, but um, I really do actually recommend uh, whisking with a whisk. Nice so it's frothy. It's frothy. You want a nice frothy froth. That should be uh, good enough to be honest that. Let's get on with it then. There's a lot of finesse in pouring it. Absolutely. Let's stir it round. The thing about omelettes is you can put in lots and lots of different things. If you've got peppers, if you've got cheese. Um, you know, the varieties of omelettes just are just immense. Does it matter what kind of pot or pan you use? The size of pot and pan is the most important thing. Um, this is um, a two egg omelette pan um, and it measures 20 centimetres in diameter. And the other thing about it is the sides are nicely curved um, and that just gives a nice shape to the omelette. How do you know when the omelette is cooked? I know that sounds like a stupid question but I'm not an omelette person because that looks pretty runny to me. Underneath it's starting to look good. Now if you're not good at making omelettes you can actually just stick this under the grill at this point and just finish it off but that is actually all right to just flip. A few seconds like that and you'll be done. And then I'm just going to fold it. Perfect. Any last words of wisdom? Yeah. The other good thing that you need with um, make an excellent omelette is you need some kind of side salad. 
and because of magic of TV we can get one done firm. There are several things that I want to share um, and the first is one of the questions that people were asking about eggs is especially on a boat is do you put the eggs in the fridge or do you keep them out now that all depends on where you buy them from if you go into a shop and the eggs are in a in a fridge you need to make sure that you keep them in a fridge Whereas in the UK and most of Europe, the eggs are just out on a shelf and you can just keep them out on a shelf in your boat. So if you can keep them on a shelf in the UK, uh, uh, but if they come out of a fridge, you can't. What, what's the difference? Well, basically what happens is um, in the UK, what they've done is they've made sure that the chickens are well looked after. Um, because on, on the outside of the egg is a very, very fine mucus, okay? And uh, because you crack eggs, you can transfer that mucus to whatever you're cooking. But what they've done is they've made sure that in the UK and most of Europe that the chickens don't have any diseases or anything nasty. Salmonella. Salmonella uh, that can basically pass to your food. Uh, whereas in other countries... They, they haven't done that so what they do is they wash the um, eggs and that removes this coating obviously it removes the salmonella but the problem is then it goes off quicker the um, the very fine mucus protects the egg so if you can buy free range eggs then uh, do that and then if you are worried about salmonella wash the outside of the eggs just before you actually need them and that should be fine. Just as a, a little aside, um, and this is all to do with eggs, and this is something that my grandmother shared with me. Now, my grandmother was born in 1887, so we're talking Victorian era. Um, and um, on the inside of, a, of an egg, there is a small membrane and this is absolutely amazing at uh, helping you get rid of blackheads. Uh, basically, you can just stick it on top of your blackhead. Now, it doesn't get rid of the blackhead. What it does is it draws the blackhead up so that if you've got any stubborn blackheads, it sort of like pulls it up a bit. Now, I used to do this when I was a kid and it was great. The other one that my grandmother used to uh, give us is you can just use the um, the egg whites and um, if you actually rub it on somewhere it really pulls that part of your skin in. Um, she used to mix it with some stuff to make a, a face mask. Unfortunately I can't remember the stuff that she used to uh, mix but I just thought it's just some bit of a laugh that you can sort of like tighten up uh, various lines with the uh, egg white. Right, well, I don't know if I would take um, lessons from somebody who's clearly got egg on their face. <laughs> there is that. 